What's up everyone, welcome to your 27th iPhone development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over pickers. Now what a picker is, is pretty much like that scroll wheel that you know you can scroll, it looks like the big old wheel of fortune wheel where you spin it and you hope to get a dollar, it's pretty much that. So that's where we're going to be going over and by the way, from now on I'm going to be calling pickers peckers because it sounds way funnier and uh... I just like to name everything a little bit different so you know I just do no reason for it so if you guys are saying alright Bucky I thought we were still going over multi view applications let's get back to that and I'm saying alright you know what why don't we make a multi view application learning peckers so that way we can learn something new and also reinforce what we already learned so we really can nail it so you know I think that's the better thing to do so go ahead and create a brand new Xcode project and of course we want a Windows based application so choose that and go ahead and name this Peckers with a Z and name it too because I think I already have another class called Peckers so go ahead and save this and welcome to Xcode my friends so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and expand classes and resources and you see we only have this main window and these two app delegates but we obviously are going to need a bunch of different classes so we actually I'm going to be teaching you about different kinds of pickers and I'm going to be teaching you about five different kinds so therefore we need five different classes huh? you see how that works so what you want to do is go ahead and right click class add new file and then go ahead and add a new subclass again under iPhone OS Coco Touch class view controller subclass and make sure this is checked with XIB user interface we don't want to have to create our NIV files separately we want to do it all in the same wham kabam so go ahead and click next and name this first one date pecker since this is also gonna this is the picker that's going to show the date and what I was going to say is make sure you create the header file too so once you have that go ahead and finish and now you see you got three new files so go ahead and we're going to do this a bunch of different times and name the second one single pecker alright now go ahead add new file and name this third one again you should already have this selected and this selected uh, name this double pecker finish classes add new file name the fourth one uh, name this D dependent pecker looks good finish and then go ahead and add new file and name this last one what do we want to name it let's go ahead and name it custom Pecker. this one's gonna be a good one alright so now you're saying alright I got the header implementation interface files but check this out I got my nip files under my classes folder now we know we don't want that so go ahead and hold down command on your keyboard and select all the um, XIB files the interface files and what you want to do is drag all of these to resources so go ahead select this this one this one this one and this one and drag them all to your resources right on our main windows where I put them so all your nib files are now where you want them to be in your classes of course that's where your classes belong so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create that root view controller and remember this is the class that controls the very first view your user is going to see and it basically is going to control all your views so in the last um, series of tutorials we manually made our root view controller but check this out Apple or iPod whoever did it they included a class built in to do all of this for us so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create an instance from that class and we're gonna use that object to handle pretty much everything so go ahead and in your whatever your project name is app delegate h we're gonna go ahead and start typing some code go ahead and get rid of that comment so the first thing we need to do is we need to create an instance of UI tab bar controller and just name this root controller just like that and of course we need to set a property 
because we need an outlet to access it. Non-atomic, retain, IB outlet, and just go ahead and copy this. UI tab, controller, don't feel like typing it out, and paste it, and we're good to go. So now, let's go, well, we won't save it yet, but anyways, this pretty much creates an instance of our root view controller. Again, this is the class where it is. It's already built in. We don't need to make our own class. And this is the object we're going to use to access it. Of course, we need an outlet. So anyways, what I'm saying, this is a thing that's going to control the very first view your user is going to see. So pretty cool, huh? Hence the name root view controller. It controls the root view or the first view. Anyways, enough of that. Go ahead and hop into your um, implementation file for the same delegate class. And go ahead and get rid of these comments just because I hate comments. And your teachers are always like, make sure to comment everything. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I kind of hate it. But anyways, go ahead and synthesize window. And you also want, to, I mean, don't synthesize window, under synthesize window. Go ahead and synthesize that root controller there we go I'll get it eventually controller looks good enough so now we have a setter and getter methods for that root controller so we're saying alright why do we even need setter and getter methods for that because we want to be able to access the view from it and plop it on our window so our main window add sub view which pretty much means add a view to the window that root controller add that main classes view to the window so now as soon as your application starts this root controllers main view is going to be the first thing you see pretty cool huh so after this of course since we created that object I think it would only be fair to give the memory back once we're done with it so and basically in this tutorial what we did is we created an object from this class that was already built in in this class that's already built in lets you navigate around your application via tab bars so that's what we wanted and we named it root controller that's the object that accessed this class and we built setter and getter methods for it. Actually, our program built it automatically for us. But anyways, we pretty much took that view from this main class and added it to the main screen. So now, as soon as they start our program, this is the view they're going to be able to see. And then, of course, when we're done with the memory, we got to give it back because you know what? We're nice. We're not greedy. We got to do it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want any of the source code, click on the uh, click on the link below, and it's uh, all there for you guys. So anyways. I'll see you next tutorial, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.